from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Today's health segment is sponsored by Baptist Health. 623 is the time new research about fitness trackers shows despite the device's popularity, they can be inaccurate when it comes to tracking your calories or steps. That brings us to our question of the day. Do you use a fitness tracker? You can say yes, 24 seven, yes, most days, or only when I work out or not at all. Head over to our KATV Facebook or Twitter page to vote right now. And taking a look at our results, not at all, 61% right now and followed by yes, 24 seven. So most of the answers either yes all the time or no, not at all. Keep voting and you can tell us what kind of fitness tracker you have. Be a part of the conversation on social media and let us know how it works for you. Speaking of that, Baptist Health cardiologist Dr. Scott Davis joins us now with more of that look and that in-depth study. Great to see you as always, sir. Hey, um, this you is something I, I do not. My wife does. And, and she Steve loves Sullivan. Does Steve Sullivan he have one is of these? the biggest proponent. I don't want no fighting. I would not. I would not go toe to toe with Sully, even well, though I know you walk a lot. No, no, no. I don't want to diss this because uh, th this has been a good tool to get people off the couch, which we preach all the time. But yeah. there continues to be emerging data looking at the fitness tracker and its uh, and the and the information that it provides. Yeah. And the accuracy of the information that it provides. And then you know you kind of keep going each step on. Okay, what do you do with the information? Because if you have a fitness tracker, you also have an app on your phone, and then it reports about your daily activity and your sleep patterns and all this. And so um, we talked about this a few months ago on this segment about just tracking the heart rate uh -huh. and comparing the heart rate tracker against like an EKG monitor and there needed to be some improvements. So the, the folks at Stanford recently published a study earlier this month looking at the fitness tracker as it related to not only heart rate measurement but also energy expenditure and how many calories you burn. Yeah, right? because I mean th there's a lot of estimation that goes on in, Absolutely. in, in that. And that, and I think those fitness trackers have acknowledged these are good estimates and right. ways to get you active and moving, but the accuracy is what's Correct. been questioned. And unfortunately, on the energy consumption piece, they really flop. Really? They look at seven different trackers. They looked at the Apple Watch, the fitness, or rather, the Fitbit, Fitbit Surge. which is a huge popular You're right. Yeah. Uh, they also looked at, uh, the um, uh, Samsung has a one called the Gear. They Garmin looked, has one. Right. I mean, they're, they're, they they're everywhere, right? And yeah. so, uh, like six out of the seven really kind of stubbed their toe on the energy piece. Piece. And they measured it with, they took 60 folks that exercised, they're about half women, half men, and then they put them through a battery of different tests, walking, running, and measured, you know, EKG measurements for... Accurate uh, measurements, Correct. Yes. And uh, th th these uh, uh, oxygen and CO2 consumption for the energy piece. Okay. And they just weren't very accurate. Really? And so it, here, here's the thing. Here's the take home from, from all this. It doesn't mean you need to throw it away. It doesn't mean you don't need to go buy one. <laughs> sure. It, but it does... It does beg the, the question, all right, these consumer devices are not held to the same standard as medical industry devices, and at what point do they need to be moved over into that medical industry type category as far as transparency. Because here's the thing, you know, as a cardiologist, it's good to get information from patients and they bring to you their data and their app and their, you know, all their spreadsheets yeah, yeah, and stuff. Right. Like, hey, look, doc, I'm exercising. You're like, fantastic. But the, the fidelity of some of the data, the accuracy of some of the data is not always as reliable. Okay. Look, we preach it all the time. The goal is to get off the couch, sure. right? Anything that will help you get up and get moving is fantastic. That'll do it. Absolutely. Okay, wonderful. Dr. Scott Davis, always great to see you, sir. Good to Thanks see you, for man. coming in. Important new studies about things that millions of Americans have and use every single day to track their health. You can always track your health by going to visit Baptist Health. You can call the number on your screen or go to their website, baptist-health.com.